How much insulation do you need? Well, the simple answer is you need an average of 150 mil rigid insulation. But budgeting for this would be a mistake. Stick around and I'll explain what you actually need. In 2022, the building regs changed. To comply, you'll need to increase the thickness of insulation. Today, I'll explain exactly how much insulation you need for the floor, walls and roof. If you're new to the channel, welcome to Barclay Builds, I'm Ben. I've got over a decade of experience building houses, I'm now a building inspector and I'm passionate about helping you understand construction and getting stuck into DIY. Let's start from the ground up. Firstly, the floor. The performance of insulation is gauged by its U-value. Much like golf, the lower the number, the better the score. You need a U-value of 0.18 in floors. This equates to 150 mil of rigid insulation, such as Celotex, Kingspan, Ecotherm, etc. For a block and beam floor, you'll have a DPM, then 150 mil Celotex, or equivalent, on top of the beams, DPM again, and then a final 75 mil screed. The screed will need an insulation upstand to all the perimeter walls. Ground bearing slabs can be formed in multiple configurations, but the 100 mil Celotex, the DPMs, and the upstands all remain the same. Properly insulated walls will keep up to 35% more heat in your house. Let's talk about how we insulate walls correctly. You now need a U-value of 0.18. Depending on the construction, this equates to 100 mil of rigid insulation or 150 mil of cavity insulation fully filled. Cavities have now been widened to 150 mil to accommodate more insulation. Cavities are constructed the same way, with face brickwork and a thermalite block, but they can be insulated differently. You have the option of using 100 mil Celotex foil tapes and clipped with a 50 mil air gap or using 150 mil or dry therm 32 fully filling the cavity. Now you've constructed the walls you need to insulate the roof. Shockingly a quarter of all heat is lost through the roof. So how do you insulate it? In the roof you now need a u-value of 0.15. This equates to 175 mil of rigid insulation for pitch roofs, 150 mil of rigid insulation for warm roofs and 300 mil loft roll for roof voids. For a normal pitch roof with breathable felt, you'll now need 125 mil Celotex between the rafters with 50 mil underneath. Bear in mind that you'll need a minimum of seven by two rafter to allow for a 50 mil air gap above the insulation. If you have a pitched roof with a flat ceiling and a cold vented roof void, you'll need 300 mil of loft roll, essentially two layers of 150 mil with the second layer laid at 90 degrees to the first. A flat, cold roof needs 125 mil Celotex between the joists with 50 mil under. And because it's a cold roof, each joist run must be vented. A flat, warm roof has the insulation on top of the joists with 150 mil Celotex sandwiched between 18 mil ply. The downside to this roof is that it needs a deep fascia. U values and their respective insulation thickness are minimum requirements. Discuss with your architect whether it's worth your while increasing these values to improve the energy performance of your house and potentially have lower bills. Now you understand how much insulation you need, check out this video on renovating your house. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments below. And if you haven't already subscribed, consider subscribing as it really helps the channel grow.